Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the official announcement of the upcoming DLC South America for Planet Zoo. I've got the wonderful uh, trailer here in the background and we are looking also at seven screenshots and we're going to look into this wonderful trailer in detail. But first of all, let me tell you, this is coming the 7th of April to you um, and this is Planet Zoo South America pack. Let me just quickly uh, pause that here um, at a wonderful screenshot and there you can see whatever. Let's keep it that way. Um, and before we do so, big thank you. I got uh, this wonderful 4K trailer delivered so we can look at it a little bit better um, and we can have a little bit of a glimpse but before we do so uh, let's actually look into the animals but I think this is the most uh, interesting thing for you guys so I also downloaded the big screenshots um, from the wonderful page of uh, Steam and here we can see the first animal which is the Jaguar of course and yeah I can say uh, this looks phenomenal you can also get a first glimpse at some new plants which I have no idea what exactly I'm not a plant uh, expert so I'm, I'm quite sure that Mr. Uh, Mr. Mike Sheets will be very very much uh, happy about this and he will be able to tell us what exactly that is. It, it even looks like we get some roots and some really big jungle roots that looks really awesome indeed. Um, but yeah, so this is I think the most the, the most anticipated animal um, that people were looking at. So uh, it's definitely it's only worth a closer look if we do this look at that. I mean again the fur and everything looks really cool and I cannot expect uh, or wait to see that uh, in game. So it's gonna be really cool to be honest. So then we have as a next up uh, animal, this is going to be a small little frog over here. And let me just quickly get the real names on because otherwise I'm going to uh, tell you some weird stuff. So it is indeed the red-eyed tree frog, that's how it is called. And it's one of the uh, exhibit animals, I'm quite sure it is, uh, we, we can expect for the game. So it's the first addition of an exhibit animal to the game uh, since the launch of the game. So it's, um, I think it's a cool addition. I like this frog quite a bit because it's one of the more common little green frogs out there. And yeah, it's just a, a little tiny addition. Next animal is a way more interesting addition. And I think this was foreshadowed. Ha 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 ha. So if we've seen yesterday, social media posting uh, this is one of the animals um, that I think I'm most uh, hyped about because it's such a cool animal and it makes for uh, such a more versatile yeah sense of animals we can we can do like petting zoos with these but you can also make like a temple area where they're free roaming around so we are obviously talking of the llama and the llama is uh, definitely one of the the coolest uh, animals in terms of uh, yeah how, how much uh, meme potential there is in there so it's quite a bit of meme potential with this animal um, but yeah I think it's a cool addition and also the model looks absolutely phenomenal I love I love the long twiggly ears and um, it's already looking very cheeky as if it wants to do something with you um, next up is a screenshot that is simply uh, highlighting one of the new I think it's a new map uh, or a new level and we have this wonderful statue and I believe this is the statue they were talking of in their social media teasers and yeah as I was pointing out and many people were actually telling me that I was wrong. Um, in fact, uh, you can see that there is an, a lot of new pieces in here, especially some broken down uh, wall pieces and stuff. So I'm sure we get the, these as single pieces, but there is another image that shows us that this is definitely more than only broken down pieces. Uh, and we can expect a lot of new pieces. In fact, there are more than 250 new scenery and uh, building pieces, including foliage, uh, to get inspired by. Really cool. And uh, yeah, you can already tell there is a lot of hanging wines and some new... Uh, ground shrubbery stuff and uh, I, I'm quite sure that a certain Mr. Plans, Mr. Mike Sheets will be very happy about this um, and it's gonna be very good for Koali Zoo. Next up is a lovely little monkey which is, um, oh god, I, I'm, I'm really bad at uh, uh, I'm pronouncing this name, but I think it's the Capuchin monkey, um, which is, I think, one of the fan favorite monkeys anyway. So you can also, again, see some some cool plants here in the background, uh, some some cool ground plants, very small. You can see this new tree, which is definitely a new one, the big trunk made out of vines and stuff, really cool. But yeah, this animal, let me just zoom in, really nicely designed again, really nicely done. I'm, I'm not even sure if the, the arms might be too thick, but might be just this angle. But I'm, I'm really in love with this uh, addition because I, I really was rooting for a new monkey anyways so that's really cool to have a new one uh, in the game and uh, I'm quite sure this one is also very agile and will be roaming around really nicely in your habitats and including climbing and stuff and let's not forget about the giant anteater 
I think this is another really cool addition. I can finally put something else in my night house, which is cool. Um, but I'll look at, you can even see the claws here. Um, they are really cool. They look a lot uh, better than I expected. Also, you can see a lot of bamboo in the background, really nicely tied together by some ropes. I really hope that we get these rope pieces as single pieces as well, um, because they're badly needed. The rope pieces we have at the moment is not really... I mean, not really super great. I'm also, I don't know if, if this looked like new ground texture, but I might be wrong. Might be also the, the normal ground texture we are known, uh, we already know, but yeah. Uh, so next up is another image of uh, an area where the people roam around and this one is in particular interesting for me as a person who likes to build stuff, you know, um, and uh, we have some cool new uh, rope pieces. I don't even know if this is exactly like, it almost looks like, because the texture is so cut over here, it almost looks like a barrier. I'm not sure if that's a barrier or if it's kind of a, a fence piece, but this one really got me thinking because it, it's so, like, it's so seamless, but still the texture starts anew. I'm not sure if that might be a barrier or whatever. It's just guessing here. So maybe it's just a fence piece or it's just a rope piece. Um, but nevertheless, it looks good. It's looking like a big old tie. It's a bit more um, than uh, the normal ropes we have in game. I think these are the normal ones though. But yeah, you know, uh, we never know. We also have new bench pieces over here, which is also super in, uh, incredible to see because new benches are always welcome. We, I think the, the choice is not crazy. Uh, and yeah, we have a lot of bamboo pieces. Although I hope these all look very much uh, prefab like uh, kind of grid pieces and I really hope that we will get some of the bamboo pieces let alone so this is an awning but maybe you know that still belongs to the awning oh yeah we also have a new lantern in the back as you can see some new uh, butterfly pieces maybe we've got a VFX effect with butterflies who knows uh, but yeah that's kind of cool and uh, yeah, overall, it looks really tropical over here. It's super cool, um, all these bamboo pieces. Um, and I really think these are also new thatch roofs, which is also pretty cool because the thatch roof in-game is already cool. But these uh, ones look a bit better, like a little bit um, less thatchy. So it, I think whether the other thatch is more Asian inspired, this is really South American uh, thatch. Is there a difference in that thatch? I don't know. Um, but yeah, this is what we can look at in here. And now I would say let's jump back into the trailer and go a bit deeper into the trailer. Um, and just to highlight a few things, it's not it's nothing crazy, but um, this is definitely the temple we saw on on the one screen. But one thing I wanted to point out is this tree in the middle. I think that looks new, and I think I'm a big fan of this already because it provides a, another nice look. Um, also, that one looks uh, suspiciously like a bigger banana tree leaf, uh, so it's kind of really cool to see that one in game as well. Uh, yeah, the ground shrubbery is nothing nothing too special. Um, most of it is already in game. And so here we can see a new pieces, uh, some roots, we can see all these new um yeah, the temple pieces, which people told me these were the Asian piece pieces, which they clearly weren't. Um, or the Asian pieces pieces, uh, pieces, <laughs> pieces are now recallable, which I totally believe they are not. Um, this tree on the left-hand side seems to be new as well. We have these mossy uh, things, which are part of the free update, so it's not it's not part of this one. Um, but if we move forward a little bit, you can see we have these um, wonderful pieces as well as uh, golden ones, and I really hope they're recallable. Please make them flexi color. So we have the stone ones and we have some golden ones, it seems. I uh, really hope that they are recallable. That would be awesome. Yeah, we see a lot of more colorful flowers down here. It almost looks like a ground texture here. Um, I don't know if that is a ground texture, but it almost looks like uh, because there is some kind of depth missing. So it almost looks like a ground piece, looks like a roof tile or whatever that only has the texture. Um, otherwise, uh, that's kind of weird. Uh, I think this is a gondola in the background here, uh, even though... I'm not sure if it is. I haven't used this one too much. This is the boat tour we already know. Um, there's nothing really... Is there anything exciting in here? I don't want to make this video too long, you know. It's uh, it's just an update video quickly. And also, I'm doing that in my lunch break, so I, I don't have that much time. I have to get back to work, so I'm, I'm officially still working. No, it's my official lunch break, so I'm not doing anything forbidden here. Don't worry about this. Uh, but yeah, oh, look at that. So much cool stuff in here. So this seems to be the habitat for our capuchin monkey, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and also, yeah, we have... Yeah, yeah, that makes sense, because this is kind of an uh, enrichment piece for monkeys. Um, yeah, we have the roots and some little growing um, flowers and blooms out of this trunk here. Uh, the trunk itself looks good. So all these trees are new. Um, they look really good. Those trees look really good. Um, is that is that crazy that I'm most excited for the new foliage? <laughs> it seems almost like I am, but uh, it's actually the truth. Yeah, we have all these butterfly pieces to enrich your area around if you want. Uh, you have all these 
a colorful little leaf things. Uh, we have it in green and in this reddish color. Is I potentially recallable? I mean, maybe. That would be awesome. If not, I'm sad. <laughs> I'm not. Okay, anyways, that's it already. Um, let's leave it as it is uh, with coming 7th April. Wishlist now on Steam. I, it's definitely on my wishlist. Okay, let's uh, gather some final thoughts while having... I want to have this one. This is just this is just a wonderful pic picture. Um, let's keep it at this, it, it is here. Um, yeah, I think I am excited, I have to say. Uh, let's see what is in for us. I don't want to judge it as of now. I really want to see the next one first before I judge it. Uh, I think the animals are really exciting. Um, I, I, I think the jaguar is obviously uh, the big star of the show, but... Uh, for me, potentially, I think I'm even more excited about the little monkey and the giant anteater uh, because I'm I'm just like I, I don't I I think they are really cool additions and in total the llama is just a wonderful addition too. Okay, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know down in below in the comments how you like this update. Uh, are you are you happy with South America and um, is there anything missing? What you would have loved to see in a South American pack? Uh, I mean, there is huge potential in here. So yeah, uh, quite a quite a few things that would be insane. Uh, but yeah, let me know in the comments down below and uh, I'm going to see you in the next one. Uh, have a good time and goodbye, guys.